Hello. All right. So um, I'm going to do a short reading for Leo. It's just going to be for the solar eclipse coming up on the 14th. So this Saturday in Libra. I'm just going to shuffle a couple more times and then we'll pull some cards. See what we get for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Midheaven, and Stelliums. Okay. So, Leo, do you know what part of your chart this solar eclipse is going to be landing? Because whatever it's landing in, whatever themes, whatever it's aspecting, it's going to kind of take you down to the depths of the underworld. So if you think of a solar eclipse, it's like the sun, the bright shining star of life is being blocked and darkened. And it's, it's in a way a symbolic, it's a symbolic uh, way of looking at how we have to go inwards and reflect on certain things, diving deep down in there. Because the light is being taken out. So you cannot just use things to distract or try and be positive about it. Sometimes if something is there that needs to be brought up and needs to be resolved, there's no way you can escape it basically. And I don't want to say that is to scare anybody, but that's essentially what it is. Because what is the sun? The sun's there to brighten things up, to make it easier, to help. It's a benefic. So then when things are more like darkened out, it's, it's almost like the shadow is covering it up, you know? So it's kind of like that kind of thing going on. So anyways, so I'm just going to hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that. So Leo, let's go. One, two, three. So the first card I'm going to get is going to be for the themes, possible themes that we could be seeing. One. Two, three, four, ooh, five. The sun. That's the theme. Okay. Let me tell you what I get from this. This is a solar eclipse, right? So if this is the theme that's going to be coming up, to me, I think. Whatever is keeping you from being able to fully feel your sun, your sunshine, your positivity. Leo rules the sun, by the way. You naturally rule the sun. It's being blocked out. This is going to be a test as to, okay, when darkness falls upon my sun and blocks all the light out, trying to keep me from shining, how am I going to handle it? How am I going to react to this? How will I carry myself? Will I allow my son to be completely put out? Will I allow these things to keep me down? It's very difficult to do that, right? It is. We're human beings that have many flaws, many insecurities, all those things. And self-doubts all the time. It's a part of human nature. But we're here to learn how to overcome these things. So therefore, it's about learning endurance. It's about learning how to fight. Not really fighting in a way to where it's literal fighting, but in a way to where how do you learn how to exercise the strength of your soul, the strength of your solar fire within, the solar plexus. So this is going to be a time to really focus on that. Now let's look at what can help you during the process when things start to get tough, when you start to feel like, oh my gosh, it's so difficult now. What am I going to do? I feel like I'm in a cage right now when you're not. So then what is going to help? One, two, 
Three. Four. Five. The Emperor. You have two major Arcana cards coming out here. Oh. Okay. Emperor is your masculine energy. Whenever you feel like. Because what is the solar eclipse? It's the moon. The sun is being blocked out by the shadow of the moon. The cold moon, which is supposed to represent the yin. The yin in a, um, a feminine, divine feminine energy, right? So when you feel like you're getting weakness in some way, when you feel like you are being just, you know, nothing's working and I'm losing or whatever, I feel like no one, no one cares. Well, guess what? Get Mars energy out. Not too crazy though, but just be careful with Mars energy because sometimes too much of Mars energy can be bad but and have negative uh, reverse effects but uh the emperor is aries the card of aries which is mars so to me that signifies masculine energy whenever you start to get that way or feel that way what will help i think is viewing it in a way to where it's like almost like competition not in a bad way like oh i'm competing against people no with yourself you're competing with yourself right you're you're saying to yourself, you know what? No. Yeah, this is tough as hell right now. And I'm, I'm struggling. Whatever that struggle might be that might come up during this time. But guess what? I'm not going to give up. I will kick my own ass into shape type of thing, right? I will not, not uh, fail myself because I know that I can do this. And I know I have everything it takes. You have that emperor-like energy within you. That's what's going to help you. That's, that's what's going to help you keep going. To not give up and be like, no, no one's going to block out my sun. No one's going to block out my shine. So that's awesome. Very cool. I like it. I like it for Leo. Yes, I do. All right, Leo. I hope you liked it. And um, peace out. <laughs>